Okay, welcome back. So It seems David has a flair for choosing his people, Mr. Jensen. You have done me a great service today. Glad I could help. I just wish I knew what this was all about. You never know, Mr. Jensen. One day, you just might. So. Our target's apparently somewhere down in the sewers. So that's what the pocket secretary says on the move. Overheard some team talking, uh, or overheard he's planning to move down below. Talking about a safe spot in the sewers. Situation is getting tense. I'm afraid we're gonna, or uh, they're gonna. I'm afraid they're on to me. I caught them poking through my shit. Uh, let's see, when can you move in and take these guys down? We need to, uh, get me out of here. even bother to stop to wonder why they keep getting knocked out. This is the only sewers I know. Let's fin fl fl finish the clear. Nice booze. Got cleared. I'm not really, really not seeing any. <sighs> okay. That's entrance to Harvester Hideout. Uh, okay, I'll be back in a minute. Hey, welcome back. So, quick note, I'm right here, and, uh... You see what I got? Found another distributor. to see what you got. Let's see. I'll take all those. Definitely take the trink ammo. Ok. 
Okay. Bye bye. I see you soon. So this is where you moved. Okay. So, anyways, um. Uh, let's see. We need to get to northern... Well, the northern portion of this place. I'm not going to bother trying to fucking pronounce it. Oh, that's just... Glitchiness at its finest. Anyways, we need to get to the northern portion of this area, so I assume near like the limb clinic or something. Keep an eye out for sewers. Oh, now! I won't say it away. again! Where did he go? This is bad comedy, isn't it? <laughs> Where did he go? As I just actively ran right fucking through him. Let's check these sewers. Okay, no, it's not these sewers. If you say so. Inside sources tell me that augmentation giant Ta Young Medical is scrambling to produce enough new biochips to meet the expected demand. Widespread defects coming so soon after the recent riot only raises more access granted. Shotgun, couple explosive barrels. Unconscious guy. Alright, so the sewers we need to get into are gotten into from somewhere around up here. Uh, over here. Really weird hairstyle you got there, lady. <laughs> this is what we're looking for. Send you? If you're talking about your former buddies at Bell Tower, the answer is no. Wait a minute. You're Jensen, right? I heard that some of my former buddies have been looking for you. Yeah, it seems no matter how many of their friends I send back in body bags, they just don't get the message. For the sin of their mouths. The words of their lips. Let them be trapped in their pride. You've dropped the Merc gig to become a man of the cloth? Hardly. I just have an interest in theology. And I love quoting the book. Everything in it is so... evocative. Now... tell me. 
Are you here to stop me? Yeah. That I am. Then perhaps you should reconsider. There are many of us, and only one of you. At this moment, my men and I have no quarrel with you. So you don't have to die for a war that isn't yours. I said I was here to stop you, not fight you. A friend of yours sent me to convince you to turn yourself in. Let me guess. Dr. Wing, right? He's a good man. And I know he's only trying to do what he thinks is right. But he doesn't quite grasp the whole picture here. Then why don't you enlighten me? Start by explaining why you went rogue. When an average man decides he no longer shares his employer's views and opts to leave, we say he's handing in his resignation. When men like us do the same, it's called going rogue. You can't quit a job like ours, Jensen. You know that. Yeah, okay, I can relate. But you still haven't answered my question. And what do you mean when you say you no longer share your employer's view? Back in the US, when I first got into the army, I did it because I wanted to serve my country. I believed in its values. I believed in its government. Back then, I believed that by serving my government, I was serving the people it was supposed to protect. Nice sentiment. But you don't work for the US anymore. You work for Bell Tower. Times change, Jensen. You know the story. Capitalism's final encroachment on one of the most lucrative industries in the history of mankind. War got privatized. The US military offloaded its special operations to PMCs like Blue Water Global and Bell Tower. I believe that as long as they were working for the government, they were serving the same cause. So when they offered me the chance to work on major operations at twice the pay grade, I made my jump. Once again, nice story, but none of it justifies what you've done. Right now, I'm giving you a chance to do the right thing and turn yourself in. I'm afraid I can't do that, Jensen. I respect you for coming here and doing what you think is right. But you gotta understand, I'm trying to do the same thing. Really? Okay then. Why don't we skip ahead to when things turn sour? Bell Tower outfitted us with top-notch augmentations. The kind of stuff civilians never hear about. It. Gave us a massive edge over the enemy. Later, seeing as my unit was one of the most successful ones, they selected us for a special program. Top secret, experimental tech. Told us we would get to work on critical black ops for the US government. But there was a price to pay. Go on. We had to be implanted with a neural hub that manipulates memory centers in the brain. Basically controlling what you can and cannot remember. And you agreed to this? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. The augmentation was supposed to keep us safe, make sure we'd never remember details if we fell behind enemy lines. That was the main function. The second one, the one they didn't tell us about, was to lower our inhibitions, make us more receptive to orders we'd likely disobey. Bell Tower turned us into the perfect mercs. I'm not sure I'd buy this, but even if it is true, it doesn't change what I said earlier. This doesn't justify murdering people. So do the right thing and turn yourself in before you cause more chaos. We're gonna have to agree to disagree, Jensen. I told you already I'm not turning myself in. Don't you see? Someone has to stop these people even if that someone damns himself in the process. You can stop them non-lethally like I've been. Well, except for the bosses that I'm forced to fight. Alright, I'll humor you. But if this neural hub actually worked, how did it fail? How come they didn't outfit the whole agency? I told you the tech was experimental. After a couple of ops, I started experiencing memory shifts. Remembering bits and fragments of past operations. Slowly I realized some of these operations couldn't logically have been orchestrated by the government. I was asked to do highly questionable things, even by professional standards. Aren't we all? Not like this, Jensen. Our services have been sold to corrupt officials in the American and Chinese governments. A combination of lies and use of the neural og made sure we complied. We were working for a shadow government. Individuals corrupted by a quest for personal power. So how'd you get out of it? I confronted the project director. He quoted Apocalypse Now. 
You have to have men who are moral, and at the same time who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling. I forced him to disconnect the hub, for me and my squadmates here. And then I killed him. I went through his files and contacts. I know who these corrupt men are now. They've turned us into killing machines, and now they'll get to experience their experiment firsthand. Listen, I have no doubt these men deserve to die. But you can't simply pass judgment on people. Nothing gives you that right. You have to turn yourself in. Play this by the book. It's obvious you just won't let go, Jensen. You don't understand who these men are, what they're capable of. They must be stopped. It saddens me that it comes to this, but I won't let you stand in my way. <laughs> Whoever sheds the blood of man by man shall his blood be shed. Take okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> There's got to be some way to talk him down, so we'll try again. And again, and again, and again, until we win. They sent... If you're... Wait a Yeah, for the you hard. The then I said them. Then why don't we run out? Night time. Why don't we belt go on? And you beware. If you I just uh, not like this. So how'd you get I confront you? Listen. I have no doubt these men deserve to die. But you can't simply pass judgment on people. Nothing gives you that right. You have to turn yourself in. Play this by the book. I'm afraid that's impossible. These men I killed, and these men I'm going to kill, they have names. Families. Their deaths shouldn't be erased from my memory by some electronic software. They should haunt me. Taunt me until I finally meet our Lord and pay for my sins. But the men behind this, they deserve to die. And I think there's poetry in the fact that they engineered their own demise. I think you're wrong. But I don't think it's my place to try to stop you either. Do what you have to do. I appreciate that, Jensen. I didn't want you to die for a cause that isn't yours. up again and I'm going to keep reloading I'm gonna pause it here until I figure out the right dialogue choices okay I've tried uh, every combination I could and be there there is it just so I can. Uh, I appreciate that, Jensen. I didn't want you to die for a cause that isn't yours. There was no uh, winning it, and since we're non-lethal, and you're thrown directly into combat, that breaks <laughs> uh, one of my core tenets of this game. Uh, or this playthrough, uh, we're just gonna let him go. Uh, where's the exit? Here we go. Well, let's go return to the dock. Hey, Jensen. Zelazny here. Zelazny? How'd you get this frequency? You're no stranger to top secret augmentations, Jensen. You figure it out. In the meantime, just want to let you know I've contacted some of my old pals at Bell Tower. Got them to reassign a couple of local patrols. You should have a few less problems to deal with for a while. Thanks. Don't mention it.
Yeah, that's the choice we're going with. They're gonna kill people, but they're corrupt people. Did what I could to try and convince them? Oh well. So? You have found Zelazny? I cannot stress enough the importance of this task, Mr. Jensen. I found him. Really, Mr. Jensen? You have been able to make him understand reason? Will he turn himself in? It's a long story, Doc. I tracked Zelazny and his men. They were hiding in the sewers. And after talking to him, I decided to let him go. What? But... He is a dangerous man, Mr. Jensen. You should not have done this. The men Zelazny's after are far more dangerous than he is. His methods are extreme, but I think his cause is justified. To be honest, Doc, I believe what he wants isn't that different from you. An honorable government free of corruption. They could use a man like you. I... I had not foreseen such a thing. I don't know, Mr. Jensen. You seem to believe that the end justifies the means. But I don't know. I'll have to think about this. Here is a Praxis Kit. Ooh. It's all I have. Appreciate it. Uh, what am I using Praxis on? Defense. And I'm gonna go on and grab the EM shielding. And then my next Praxis Kit will get me DT3. Sorry, DR3. All right, and we got Talon AD for uh, descending into the bowels of the urban jungle and confronting the warrior priest. And with that, we'll see y'all next time when we continue the main story, I guess.